Now, having built America's most successful horse-drawn vehicle empire, William Durant had been skeptical of automobiles, but after a test drive was immediately smitten with the automobile's potential. Now, soon after, he unveiled the Buick Model D at the 1905 New York Auto Show, and he received 1,108 orders on the spot. Now, soon after, a company called General Motors was established. Its initial holdings included only Durant's Buick Motor Company and went unnoticed in the news media, with the major business news story that day being the announcement by the White Star Line Shipping Company that it will begin construction of the world's largest ocean liner, to be called the Titanic, of course. Now, General Motors was soon one of Wall Street's highest flyers. Under the new GM umbrella, the Buick, Oldsmobile, Cadillac, and Oakland, later the Pontiac, were soon household names. And in 1909, General Motors also acquired the Reliant Motor Truck Company and the Rapid Mo Motor Vehicle Company. Now, these were the predecessors of the GMC truck. Now, after leaving GM in 1910, Billy Durant started yet another car company, Incorporation, with the most famous of his former Buick race car drivers, Louis Chevrolet, and founded the Chevrolet Motor Car Company. Chevrolet's storied bowtie logo made its first appearance in 1914. According to Chevy Lore, Durant created the logo after being inspired by the wallpaper pattern of his Paris hotel room. Chevrolet introduced the 490 in 1915 with huge success. The 490 offered more power and features than the industry-leading Ford Model T at almost the same price. Sales hit the 100,000 mark by 1918, and Chevrolet quickly became another division of GM earning honors as GM's largest volume division by the mid-1920s. By 1927, the company had managed to outsell Ford, with sales in excess of one million units. GM first set itself apart with the electric self-starter, invented by the legendary inventor and researcher Charles Boss Kettering. Now, the self-starter is still widely considered the most significant automotive invention of the 20th century. With Chevrolet added to the new family, GM now offered more brands and types of vehicles than any other automaker. And within a period of less than 10 years, the company opened new assembly plants in more than a dozen countries, including China, Japan, and India. Yep, General Motors had become a global icon. Earlier inventions such as the electric light bulb, the telephone, the radio, and the automobile opened new possibilities and dreams for people all around the world. General Motors set a rapid pace of product and marketing innovation. GM's Milford Proving Ground in Michigan was the first facility of its kind in the entire auto industry, testing vehicles for safety and performance in a variety of weather and road conditions. By 1932, hard times in America and political change in Europe brought new uncertainty but General Motors' commitment to style and innovation was unabated. GM supplied the Allied forces with more goods than any other manufacturer, prompting some to say that, yes, GM won the war for America. General Motors converted all of its production to the Allied war effort and delivered more than 12 billion worth of goods, ranging from airplanes to tanks, marine diesel engines, trucks, machine guns, and shells. Now, no other manufacturer delivered as much material to the Allied forces. With the return of peace, GM was soon launching an unprecedented string of milestone new designs, such as the 1949 Buick Roadmaster and the sleek Chevrolet Bel Air. By the 1950s, Chevrolet had added power brakes, seats, and windows to its list of available features, allowing luxury for those on a tighter budget. The company introduced its alluring Corvette in 1953. The 1960s witnessed the launch of the sporty Camaro and proved an instant hit, comprising 10% of Chevrolet's total sales in 1967. And in 1974, GM introduced the industry's most important step yet in reducing automotive emissions, the catalytic converter. Now to this day, all cars sold in North America by all manufacturers are equipped with this converter. And in 1973, GM became the first manufacturer to downsize its entire U.S. vehicle fleet to increase fuel efficiency. It was the largest re-engineering program ever undertaken in the industry, ushering in a trend of ever lighter and more aerodynamic designs across all vehicle models.